Are you tired of your same old phone wallpaper? Fed up of jamming your thumb against the screen and nothing happens? Well, we have a solution for you. Introducing moving wallpapers for your phone. Hi, I'm Daniel from DM Creative and boy do we have an offer for you. Today only for the low, low price of absolutely free, we're gonna teach you how to make moving video wallpapers for your phone. And cut. That's a wrap. Oh my God. Why the f do we shoot this in the kitchen? It's about phones. All right, enough fooling around. Let's learn how to do this thing. All right, before we get started, just wanted to let you guys know, I'm doing this on an iPhone, so this whole tutorial is kind of iPhone based, but I'm assuming the same general principles apply to an Android. If anyone has an Android and they have a tutorial or you know how to do it, Post the app or whatever you may need down below in the comments and I'll pin it so that everyone can see how to do it if they're an Android user. Now, the best part about this tutorial is you don't have to be a photographer or videographer or even know any of the Adobe programs to be able to do this. You literally just need to have a video that you enjoy on your phone. I mean, if you are able to use those and you do have that knowledge, it's probably gonna produce better results, but at the same time, a moving wallpaper of your friend getting blackout drunk and passing out in the street, Pretty awesome too. The first thing you're gonna need is obviously a video. Without the video, this whole thing is irrelevant. You might as well just have a normal wallpaper. Once you have that video, if you're gonna be using Adobe Premiere, there's a couple things you have to do. And if you're not using Premiere, or you're not editing your video, you're just using something straight off your phone, you can just skip this step. When you are setting up your sequence in Premiere, let's say you wanna edit the video and make like a cool montage or something, you're gonna to have to set your sequence to be 720 by 1280, not the other way around. You're not looking like horizontal, you're looking vertical so that your video format fits your phone and it actually makes sense as a wallpaper and it's not like a little tiny rectangle with black on either side, which is the worst. All right, once you're happy with your video, be it edited on Premiere or just straight off the phone, you're gonna download an app called Into Live. I will link it in the description below. This is the app you're gonna need to make that picture slash video appear as a wallpaper, but then when you press your thumb down, play as a video. Once you've downloaded the app, you're gonna open it up and then open your video in the app. From here, you can then resize, cut, add filters, do whatever you wanna do to the video as well as some more features with the pro version of the app. Now, the pro version isn't necessary. There is a free version, but the free version limits you to a five second video. So if you want some full length feature film, like, I don't know, you want Jurassic Park as your entire wallpaper, that actually be kind of sweet. And you're gonna have to get the full version. The good news is it's only about three bucks. Once you're happy with the video, hit that make button at the top and boom, you're done. That's it, that's all there is to it. It's not hard at all. Now once you go back to your photo gallery, you've got your moving wallpaper right there in the gallery. Then when your phone's locked, all you're gonna do is long press on the screen and the video will start to play. And now, let the chirping commence. Make fun of your friends not moving wallpapers. That's so 2013. Anyway guys, if you have a break between making fun of your friends for their crappy wallpapers and you like this video, you thought it was cool, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel if you're not already, and I will catch you guys in the next video. Love ya. Hey, have you seen my new uh, moving wallpapers? Yes, you showed me like six times already. Okay, well, at least mine moves. You just posted a YouTube tutorial on it.